Hey, this is Alex Power with My Creative Cinema, and today I'm gonna show you how to create a glitch effect inside Adobe Premiere Pro CC. This effect, it's very similar to the Twitch effect, which is sold by third-party company as a plugin to your um, After Effects. But this time we will be doing this without any plugins right inside your program, Adobe Premiere Pro. So stay with me, we'll be right back in just a moment. Hey, welcome to another tutorial in Adobe Premiere Pro CC. Today we're gonna create a glitch effect. Let's get started. I have my clip here on the timeline and I don't need the audio right now, I'll just mute that. And the first step for us will be to create an adjustment layer. We'll go to the media bin here and we'll press this little icon here, an adjustment layer. We'll press OK and we'll put this adjustment layer right on top of the clip. There is another way how to create this uh, glitch effect. It's a little more complicated. For that, I don't even need adjustment layer. For that, I will just uh, create. I will do create a duplicate for um, two duplicates actually of the same clip, and I will go to the uh, RGB uh, three different colors. I will separate this to three different colors. One would be uh, red, one would be green, and one would be blue. And I would blend them all, all together, and I would play with the um, with the motion effect and the color effect. That's one way of doing it, but that's, that's kind of a little longer and a little more complicated. We can do this much simpler way. For that, we will go to the Effect tab here, to the Effects, and we will, we will put in Wave Warp. Okay, Wave Warp, that's what we need. We'll just drag this right into the Adjustment layer. It depends on the effect you want to achieve here, the distortion, like as you can see I already, it already got distorted. We don't need this for the entire clip, so um, uh, again, and I don't want this kind of distortion. For that I will go to the wave type here in the effects and I will, I can choose, I can choose this in a square way, you know, it's going to be distortion in a square format, which is nice too, you know or a triangle is going to be a little different and uh, the one I found really helpful that's the noise effect and for that one it just it looks like what we actually need and you need to play with the settings here a little bit in this settings first thing you want to adjust is a wave height and width so for that we can just go and look at the distortion we we trying to create and then you just play with that depends on what you need this for for like some scenes maybe like more computerized glitch or you know it can be really well wide wider apart or like in you know it can go up and down here so I think I think we will stop right here so we set that up let's say and also as you can see the edges of the video also stretching along with the actual footage so we don't need that we want to pin them and for that we will just click here all edges and it it just will distort only in the middle of the video and then we can just play with the settings here to get uh, to get the look we wanted to get Let's say we have created the, the glitch type we wanted to have. So we're gonna cut this whole thing just only to one frame. It's gonna last only one frame, like that. Oops, if you mess up with something, you, you can always uh, correct this by pressing Ctrl Z. So one frame, that's it. That's all we need here. And let's see how that works. See. Um, and then I'm just gonna copy a bunch of them and drag them up here and we're gonna just spread them it's gonna zoom in a little bit on that since they're too small you want to zoom all the way and you just spread them throughout the entire clip 
and we will make them look different we will just change some settings on each one of them so one will be so it's even too much all right so something like that and you just put them randomly and later on you can adjust them when you want them to occur during which during the start or during the so I actually want it to occur here right during the start so what I will do I will go like and put this in the very beginning of the clip right before I start talking but this glitch should be like a minor one so in the very beginning what we can do we can just go ahead and start the change the change on that particular one change the the height of the of the waves because it's just starting so we just want it to be like minimal maybe somewhere here and let's take a look okay it's just a minor one okay it's just a little distortion here you barely can notice and then we will put another one here and we will put on that one we're already like give it a little more but not completely a little bit more and so you can set this up the way you want it to be and how you want it to be at different time intervals and you can add you can play with this settings and if you're not happy with the noise effect you can get the circle effect and like check that out and see if if that works so let's see let's change it to a circle effect or score circle effect and see it's distorting a different way so that doesn't look like a glitch a little different so again you can play with the one you you find suitable for the video you make in, in order to make a look close to the twitch effect that, that that plugin in after effects you can go ahead and highlight one of the glitches you have created and go to the color tab and from here you will go to the curves and you can just adjust the RGB colors here so we'll go put the red a little bit push the red a little more you know and we go to the green okay and then we'll go to the blue okay something like that so now when it glitches put any color you want there you can play with this the way you want to create your scene and this is going to be the end of the tutorial Please let me know in the comments below if this tutorial was helpful for you. Like, subscribe, share, and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.